Okay, I've got the mango berry, the tiny mushroom, the blue eyes white dragon, and now all that's left is the miracle seed. That looks promising. Whoa, did I just get pot? <laughs> is this what weed is? Kim, <laughs> you didn't stick your head in the poisonous blue of Mallow. Mallow, I am so high, Mallow. This is so cool. Uh, we need to get you to the hospital like we right now. I am crying juice! Snorting weed is the best! Oh, I think he's waking up! What happened? Nothing that you can sue me for! Actually, you forced a child to go stampeding through a dangerous jungle in order to find toxic recipe ingredients. And various collectible items? The card was holographic. Did I beat the trial? Uh, here is your sea crystal! Congratulations! Woo! Everything's going to be full! No, no, no! We're losing him! We're losing him! Okay! I've finished all of Akala's trials, and now I'm off Kim, to- Kim! I came as soon as I heard! And did you take a pit stop at the nurse's station? They were grieving. What do you want, Kikui? I think you should go check out the Dimensional Research Lab. It'll come in handy later for when the story detours into a convoluted B-plot no one was asking for. Let's go! There's someone here who I'm excited for you to meet. Is it someone of the bimbo variety, like usual? Cam, meet my wife, Professor Burnett. Your wife? It's nice to meet you, Cam. Your wife? Married? Openly married. We're very secure in our relationship. So we have sexual relations with other people, too. <laughs> <laughs> you, of course. I feel like this is inappropriate to talk about in front of a child. There's nothing embarrassing about human sexuality, Cam. That's why I share it with every person I encounter of consenting age. Your mother is very nice, by the way. Nope, shutting this down right here. Hey, guys, what did I miss? Nothing. The gang banged his mom. I said nothing. I was about to tell Cam here about the mysterious happenings happening around Akala's happenings. Ooh, sounds happening yes i'm talking about the ultra wormhole i married her for her love of drama stop interrupting and her boobies so yeah every once in a while we'll be minding our own business here in alola and a hole will open up in the sky and godlike pokemon will stick their heads out and threaten us with total oblivion fairly interesting stuff wow i just shit my pants a little we think that the hole leads to another dimension one in which we're vastly underprepared and unqualified to be tampering with but you gotta break some eggs to make an omelet. I married her for her cooking skills. Stop interrupting. And her fertile ovaries. Legend has it that these Pokemon from the wormhole were super duper dangerous. We call them Ultra Beasts. And the guardian deities of the land fought in vicious battles against them in order to save our ancestors. But who knows if any of it is true. But we know the guardians of the islands are true. I guess we'll never know. No, I mean... People see them all the time. Forever a mystery. I literally saw one. All we can do is hypothesize. She saw it too. Just another rumor, hopefully soon unveiled by the awesome might of science. I want to leave now. All right, time to trounce through this cave of diglets and fight Olivia. Nothing will slow me down. Well, fuck. <sighs> okay. Now, nothing will slow me down. Yo, where do you think you're going? Yeah, could this get any worse? Don't worry, Cam. I'm here. Ah! I hate caves. Oh, what an interesting little city. I sell insects. Only $6,000. Oh, all, 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 <laughs> all of which are mostly legal. All of which are All right, let's do this. <laughs> Frank Inferno, what the fuck are... <laughs> No, 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 no. This is a joke. You, you, you're not a Pokemon. <laughs> no, 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 you, you can't be a real thing. <laughs> Dear Cam, I know I told you to visit me at my shop, but something else has come up and I didn't feel like calling your cell phone. Meet me at the Ruins of Life when you can. P.S. Please ignore Probabas's face, which is also all of them. We aren't sure what happened. We assume some kind of tragic accident. Olivia. Wow, this is disturbing. I thought only Digimon died. Hey, you! You're the brat that's been messing around with Team Skull, aren't ya? Have you just been waiting in those shadows all night for me? I'm Plumeria! I'm like Team Skull's edgy big sister. I have a tattoo of Avril Lavigne on my ass, and when I get older, it'll turn into Keith Richards! I do not understand what is happening right now. Go, Selene! 
Okay, please, God, let this be the last place I have to go to find Olivia. Cam! Nebby dragged me to these ruins, too! Oh, cool. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with that information. There must be some kind of mystery involving Nebby and the guardians of these islands. Gotta be honest, I'm not super invested in that subplot right now, and probably won't be no matter how hard you try shoving it down my throat. Kukui? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I heard somebody needing to shove something down some monster I shouldn't have assumed. Anyway, Cam, isn't Please, it? Please, go on. Thank you for meeting me here. Tapu Lele asked me to clean up the ruins. Here Wait, I am. Wait, you made me come all the way out here and you didn't need me for some kind of emergency? Emergency? Of course not. And even if I did, why would I ask the help of a preteen? That's wildly irresponsible. Anyway, let's battle our slate pets. Go! No pass! Ignore his everything. Go, my only water Pokemon! Really gotta work on that entry, dude. I don't exactly know when you're throwing me out, dude! No pass! Use Rock Slide! Well, fuck my duck! Psyduck, use Bubble Beam! Woohoo! Also, I just learned Aqua Jet. I'll take it! Go, Boulder! Psyduck, quick, use Aqua Jet! <laughs> Yeah! Go, Lock and Rock! Psyduck, do your Lock thing! Lock and Rock, quick! Use Quick Attack! You little bitch! Woo-win! Hey, she hurt me! Maybe you can pet me, or feed me a bean, or wipe my... Back in the ball, Psyduck! Today, I became a man that mains Psyduck. Well done, Cam. Here is the Z crystal I owe you. Might I suggest that instead of a Z crystal, you offer an evening of romance? Call me in 10 years. I'm betting you age like a fine wine. I'm betting you'll overdose at 19. Okay, so I'm looking for a guy who's gonna tell me about the Ether Foundation. <laughs> and instead, I found Elton John! Oh my god, I am such a big fan! Greetings, young one. I am Faba. Ugh, it's never Elton John. I would like to take you to the Ether Paradise, a man made island in the middle of the ocean, far from any civilization and government regulated police force, that was created by brilliant scientific minds who have never had any sexual education in order to protect Pokemon. Sounds great. You can trust me, as I am an adult who would not lie to a small child. Unnecessary footnote? Take me! Take me! I want to go too! No, please don't bring him! The more the merrier! Yes! Being taken to an isolated island by a flamboyantly dressed stranger? <laughs> Sounds like fun! Your fly is down. That's exactly where it needs to be, you piece of sh**. As you can see, everything in the Aether Paradise main building is white and clean as a whistle. No one has ever lost copious amounts of blood here, and you would never be able to tell even if they did. I love it! We specialize in the conservation of Pokemon. Oh. What? My mom taught me never to trust conservates. You'll have to ignore him. His abortion was cancelled mere seconds before he breached. Breached what? Right. Forgot you guys didn't get that sex education. President Lusamine, I have brought you two random children who are not really all that special. When you remember that they're just doing what every beginning trainer is supposed to be doing on their Pokemon journey. Ah, yes. Children. Hello. Jesus, is that your voice? Yes. Why do you sound like that? Because I'm... not evil? Jeez, man. Some people are sensitive that others will think they're evil just because of their voice. I appreciate you both coming to Ether Paradise to meet me, the woman who will become mother to all Pokémon, no matter the cost. Actually, quick question about that. So, Famba said on the elevator right up here that this place is a safe place for Pokémon and that a jamming signal prevents them from being captured with Pokéballs. That's correct. So, you go out and capture Pokémon in the wild and bring them here and entrap them to be studied? And and breeded, Cam. Bread. No thanks, I'm not hungry. I can oh. understand how it might look suspicious from the outside, but I can assure you, 11-year-old child whom I've no reason to impress, that there are no corporate pretensions here, and I am definitely not evil. Well, I'm convinced. You're infatuated. No thanks, I'm not hungry. Okay, everyone else felt that, right? Everyone else felt that tremor, right? Oh my god, 
I have seen this episode of SpongeBob and it does not end well. I mean, for an episode of SpongeBob, in the context of other shows, things turn out fine. Does anyone else feel majorly horny right now? I'm more on the spectrum of horrified to terrified right now. I'm horny! Shut up, Wick. Maybe we should talk to it. Hello, faded ultra beast. Uh, come here often. What does that mean? You understand that literally everyone in this room right now is interacting with this thing for the first time, right? Oh, I bet you just want a big old woman hug. Cam, distract that thing with a battle and I'll get Lucimine out of here. Wait, why do we care about her? She's evil. She is not. She said so herself. Go, fight. Well, I lived a good life. I guess your prediction was off, Olivia. May the Lord bless your thighs for eternity. Ah!